In general, the vulnerable patient has vulnerable plaques. Once again, this relates to the atherosclerotic process in this patient. Developing plaques are likely to develop coronary thrombi and thus likely to eventuate in the acute coronary syndromes. Unstable angina, sudden death, even in some cases stable angina and silent plaque growth that may in fact occur over the years without clinical manifestations until later on. So in terms of the vulnerable patient, I think it is clearly the vulnerable plaque that makes that patient vulnerable, that is a systemic issue in these patients that allows their plaques to grow, that allows their plaques, their form of atherosclerosis, to become vulnerable to eventuate in these nasty coronary syndromes.